uh, I wanted to show you, make you a private video about spinning from the fold. So this is my puff. I have some brown Jacob here. I pulled off a piece. Uh, I made it really fluffy. See, I opened it out. This is like with the spinning thin. Make it really, really fluffy. I'm going to do it with the drop spindle first because it's easier to see. Uh, this is too much. It's going to get in your way. Divide this much in half. Okay, because then it's easy to join. You want a really fluffy piece, very, very, very open. Okay, and then after it's very, very, very open, you do fold it like that. But when you fold it, you don't squeeze it. You don't do any of those things. If it still feels too thick, you can divide that in half again. You don't have to have a lot. Okay, now, leader. This is a lightweight spindle. If you're doing it on a spindle, pick a light one, not a heavy one. Okay, I'm going to get it full of twist. It's already pretty twisty because I wound it up pretty twisty. Okay, so it's got tons of twist and I've pinched it up here. So now I can also just lay it across. See, I've laid it across there. And then I'm going to let pull a little bit and let the t twist go in. Okay, see the twist has started to go in. And so I'm going to already wind this back on. It's a super long leader. more twist in it, the more twist the better. Super twisty. If it ends up over twisted, no big deal. I've also discovered that what I thought was over twisted is really okay. Okay, see how thin it is? There's almost nothing there. You can make it thicker if you want, but it's going to be easier. Now it's starting to come up into here. You see that little cloudy bit? Okay, so it's going to go over my finger, but I'm pinching it here. I'm holding on to it. So there's two things that I found from watching a bunch of videos about it. The first thing is hold the pinch well. Uh, you can pinch here and let it travel up. Zoop. So I did that. I'm going to wind on some more. Okay, wind on some more. Now the stuff is actually in here. And twist the heck out of it. Let it get really twisted. It's okay. I hear it's starting to double up and not, but it's all right because I'm going to pull this off. Okay. Now up to here it looks just like the short draw spinning from the fold, and you can keep doing it short draw. I mean, you can use it like this. But what's nice about it is when you get going, and the thing the lady said on the one video was hold it as if it's a baby bird you don't want to crush. Great advice. That really worked for me. Okay, now I've got some of my actual yarn on the spindle, and I'm going to start doing this business. See how it just comes off the fold? Zoom! Zoom! So, this is going to help you, getting the hang of this is going to help you when you want to do the long draw because I haven't even figured out how to do the long draw without doing it from the fold. Except for then you don't do the fold over your finger. Okay, and if you can do it on a spindle, you can do it on your spinning wheel. Okay, see it's just coming off right there. Shroom, right off the fold. It's drafting itself. If you get freaky, you feel like it's going to break, just pinch it and stop. Okay, same thing on the wheel. You just stop pedaling and pinch and let it twist. It's okay to let it twist. Um, don't freak out about getting too much twist in your yarn. So, ooh, can't really have too much twist. Okay, I'm just barely, barely, barely letting it move up into there. When it starts to get too skinny, again, I feel it getting skinny. I don't want it to break. I'm holding it with my two fingers right there. And I'm feeling sorry that I went counterclockwise because I'm making some of the stuff that's all clockwise right now. Um, so I can't fly it with this unless I make a three-point. Okay, 
So there it goes. Now I'm just barely pulling it with this hand. I'm not pinching much. Pulling a little bit. And just letting, holding it, letting the twist travel up. Holding it. I'm adjusting it a little bit with these back fingers as I go. But to not squeeze with this hand. You don't ever need to squeeze with this hand. This hand just needs to be kind of open. If it gets a little bit twisted up and it's not coming off of the right place, and you think, okay, now I'm stuck. It's coming off the bottom. Like right now it's starting to catch the bottom. But if you start with a small piece, uh, and then because it's easy to add to this, this is easy to join. You don't have to work really hard to join up. Uh, then it all goes pretty smoothly. But if it gets stuck or if you get a fat piece, look, here's a fat piece, right? And I don't want it. I'm going to keep it pinched down here. I can let this hang. You don't have to worry about that. I can pull this out a little bit. There's lots of twist behind my finger. I can stick this other finger back in here. And I can stop my spindle and I can let the twist go up. Zoom! Okay, so then it doesn't break. And the you know, hardest thing is this sensation that the twist is going to go up too far into the thing, which uh, it can, but if it does, it's okay. Just let it, uh, just hang on to it a little bit back and do what I just did, which is pinch it up further, closer to the front. See how it's coming off? I was so glad when I finally figured out how to do this. There, in front of the white wall, it might be a little bit easier to see. Okay. And here we go. Now, you see it's not perfect. That's got a big, thick spot. If I want to, I can leave this thing hanging down here and I can go back and, and even it out, but I'm not that picky. Uh, so this is me spinning from the fold again, holding it very lightly. If I need to hold it from, from the top, if you look in my pinch, I'm just I'm pinching even back a little bit. When I'm ready, I can pinch further, move this hand up, and then pull and then get ready. At a certain point, you don't even need to keep your finger in the fold because you won't have that much left. And it's pretty light. Okay. So, in a little bit, I'll make another video where you can see me doing it on the wheel. But you can see that this is going to be easy to join when you join because you're going to end up with this fluffy end. Okay? So this is your personal instructional, I just barely figured out how to do it, spinning from the fold video. Love you.